Well, I want to start off today with our with our nugget, and I want to just talk with you briefly today. Uh, the nugget today is simply one word. Uh, that one word is listen. Listen. L I S T E N. Just listen. What if we listened more? Or any, even in the case that we're talking about today, is just listening have listening better. Uh, let me give you a couple definitions. First, the first thing that many people think about when they hear the word "listen" is to hear the sound of words. To hear the sound of words. But then we have what the Bible talks about when it says to listen, or Jesus says it this way. Let them that have ears to hear, hear. That word hear means to not just listen to the sound of the words, but to understand the meaning of the words. That's what true listening is. True listening is to understand the meaning of what's being said. In other words, you're listening so in, so deeply that you're not only hearing the words, but you're processing what the words mean from God to you. Let me say that one more time, that you're not only hearing words, but you're focused and you're, you're focused in and you're processing what the words mean to you. And this is the, the importance again, as we always talk about of listening as well as then after you hear those words, you're writing those words down and then you're going back and you're reading those words. Think about it. The, the, the change that, that we are all desiring within ourselves, the change that we are all desiring around us starts off with words for everybody. I mean, I, I don't know if you ever thought about that. It starts off with words and those words are basically the words that, that if we listen, here's what's gonna happen. We're going to understand and we're going to gain knowledge. I want to read a, uh, a scripture for you. Let me pull this up real quick. Um, and, and, and as I'm pulling this up, as I'm pulling this up, this is something that I've learned and, and myself, my wife, we've learned in, 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 in processing, um, even hearing each other. Listen to this. This is what I hear you saying. Have you ever done that with someone or had someone in a conversation? Uh, you know, really, especially husbands and wives. And then I'm going to read the scriptures, especially husbands and wives. What, what if you began the practice of both, both people saying, this is what I hear you saying, and then repeating back what you heard them say, what you understood that they said to you? Because sometimes what we hear is not always what was conveyed. I know many of you would probably um, agree with that. So the, the, the simple practice of saying, so is th this is what I'm hearing you say, X, Y, Z, is that what you're saying? Yes, it is, or no, it isn't. See, listening has everything to do with us growing. So this, this particular uh, scripture uh, Matthew chapter 13, uh, well, I want you to see something, how important listening is. And I'm going to read uh, quite a few verses. I'm going to start with chapter, uh, excuse me, with verse one. Later that same day, Jesus left the house and sat beside the lake. A large crowd soon gathered around him. So he got into a boat. Then he sat there and taught as the people stood on the shore. Just think about it. Jesus, you're sitting there and Jesus is teaching you. He told many stories in the form of parables such as this one. He said, first of all, listen. He said, listen. <laughs> Before I even get started, I, I need your attention. I need you to not only hear the words that I'm saying, but I need you to understand what I'm saying to you. So he said, listen, a farmer went out to plant some seeds. As he scattered them across his field, some seeds fell on the footpath. In other words, he said, there's a, there's a, um, a sower sowing seed, and he was scattering seeds. Some of it landed on the path where people walk. And then he said that some of it landed upon uh, rocks. Okay, he's talking about different types of ground. For some of you 
who may be new to this, different types of ground. So he said, I'm planting some seeds. Some of it landed where people walk. Okay, that's not going to bear any fruit because that's not good soil. He said he threw some seed and it landed upon rocks and that's not going to bring forth anything. He said he threw some seed and it landed upon thorns. That's not going to bring forth anything. And then this is where I want to get to. He said some seed fell among, th uh, excuse me, fell on fertile soil, fertile soil. Again, the words that will change your life have everything to do with the soil that you're cultivating, the soil that the words will land upon your mind and your heart. In other words, if unforgiveness and bitterness and resent, resentment and hatred and all of, the, all of those negative things, if all of those things are festering in our minds and in our hearts and not love and joy and peace, then this is what's going to happen. How you hear things will be skewed. How you hear things won't, it won't be heard the way that it was supposed to come across in order to literally change the situation and most importantly, change you and, and myself. So he said, listen, he said, the other seed fell on fertile soil. Now listen, when, it's, when it falls on fertile soil, what's going to happen? Some people are going to receive a 30-fold return on what they heard, so what they listened to and heard. Some people are going to receive a 60-fold. Then he said there are some that receive a 100-fold. He's using numbers in order to, for, to help you understand the, the, um, the abundance that can come back to, you, to us when we really listen to him and when we really listen to other people. Some 30, some 60, some 100. The people who are really focused in on listening and hearing to understand, those are the ones that are going to have the greatest uh, return on what they're gaining in knowledge. Get this. So you have some 30, some 60. Those people, even if you add that up, 30 plus 60 is 90. There are other people that, that still get back more than those two people together. Think about that. Let's just say you have three people. You have some that's kind of listening, but they're getting a little bit. They get they have a 30-fold return. You have some that's, that's listening a little better. They have a 60-fold return. Then you have some, uh, the third person that is just truly, I'm, I mean, I am focused. I'm, t I'm, I'm hearing what you're saying. I'm writing it down. I'm studying it. I'm meditating it. That person, that one person will have more of a return in their life than the other two put together. 100 fold return. Why? Because they understand the value of listening. They understand the value of words and those words landing upon good ground so that that good ground of your heart can bear forth the change that needs to happen in your life inside in order to see change on the outside, okay? Listening. So listen to what he says. To those who listen, to those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given. Not, not those who hear the words, but those who really understand what I'm, what I'm saying. He said to those, more understanding will be given and they will have an abundance of, of knowledge, okay? But for those who are not listening, even what little understanding they have will be taken away from them. Again, let me let me ask you. If you do do you do you truly desire to see change in your life? Do you truly desire? If you do, listening is the key. Again, not hearing the word, not hearing the sounds of the words, but hearing the words and understanding what it really, really means. So today, if we were to say, okay, I listened, what, what would I have gotten from today? Today, I understand that in listening, if I'm really focused in and understanding what's being taught, and then I'm applying those words, I, first of all, I'm retaining it. I'm, I'm retaining it in my mind and in my heart. 
and then I do what I heard, then I'm going to, it, it's, it's absolutely a law of God. I'm going to see an abundant change in my life, period. It starts with the words, the understanding of the words, retaining the words, taking time to write it down, think about what it's saying to me, pray about it, getting it in my heart, and then doing what? And then acting on it as we listen that way. He said that you have the possibility of a 100-fold return. That, that means that that's like a perfect return on what you heard. So, you know, so if you're reading about or you're hearing maybe a sermon or hearing a noonday nugget about healing, then he said, I need you to listen, not just hear the words, but take it in because that's where your healing is. Maybe it's about your, your prosperity. I need you to listen. I need you to understand what it's really saying for you to do or how you're supposed to be. Take that in, allow that change. And then what's going to happen, you're going to see that 100-fold return to the extent that you listen will be the extent of the or the magnitude of the return that you desire to see. So today's nugget, simply let's begin to practice listening, listening, listening to one another, listening to the obviously the word of God, listening and really not just hearing the sound of the words, but hearing and understanding what the words mean for you. So that's it for today. I love you all. I want you to have a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy yourselves. Don't eat too much. Uh, we will be here on Sunday morning at uh, 11 a.m. We won't have uh, anything on Friday. So uh, we will be back next time, Sunday morning, 11 a.m., have a great Thanksgiving. Have a great weekend. I hope to see you Sunday morning as we uh, continue to talk about the kingdom life. The kingdom life. I guess God's got some good stuff for you. So tune in with us on Sunday morning. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.